So guys, uh, I think this is going to be my very first video to talk about Helicrane on this platform and um, I'm going to try and uh, use the least, take the least time possible to address what I'd like to share with people and it's about what really runs the world. No, I'm not an expert in everything, finances or any specific thing that I would love to advise you on. But I'm just sharing that um, I've come to realize uh, through reading, uh, listening to what people say and what people share out there. And this world is run on perception. How you are perceived will determine what comes out of your life, what becomes of you. Because, for example, these um, the celebs, the, the known people, let me use an example of musicians like uh, Jay-Z, 50 Cent, Tupac, for example. This guy, we believe he died so many years ago. But based on the perception that he was one of the best rappers at that time, his music still plays to date and still sells. If you listen to his music, you feel like, okay, they, they were right to rank him where they did. And it's all because of perception. Maybe we have better people, or we had better people at the time, but because of how they were portrayed, they never got the attention these other guys have gotten. Now, Perception is not a very big word. I, I believe you already understand what it means. It's how people take you, how you are taken, how people receive you, but how you are sold. If people hear your name, how they feel, because that's how you've been sold out there. And for example, now coming back to our country, Kenya, if you just mention the word it's uh, the, the tribe Kikuyu or Kisi or Luya or Luo or Kamba there's something that you can relate you've, maybe you've never interacted with any of a, anyone from those tribes but because there's a, maybe a stereotype or a belief that this tribe does this this tribe does this and that and that you tend to believe and that's how you associate with those people, with the people from that segment or tribe, if you may like. So first work on how you want to be perceived. Now, how are you going to do that? You're going to elevate yourself. You can sell yourself out there. Right now we have social media platforms. You can do a very good job of making sure you have a brand that people can associate with. The perception alone will sell you more than anything else. Just people perceiving that this guy is this rich. This guy is this much in terms of net worth. Is this worth. You're going to be linked with other people that will elevate you to those levels that you've not yet reached. Now, for example, I, I like using examples and maybe you can relate or not. If today you were to start anything, any business, and you associated with people who already are successful, because that's how to go about it anyway. You, you, you have to get guidance, you have to get assistance from people who have already achieved in whatever path you want to pursue. I'll take an example of um, salespeople, and I'll use this guy called uh, Kai and Cairo, or Kalf Cairo, the the guy who does advertisements and sales of motor vehicles. If you started today your own advertising uh, segment of cars, and you tagged him, he tagged you back. His customers are likely to follow you. Or buy from you if they trust him and the perception here comes in because they will assume you are you are somehow associated related or something 
So perception is everything. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll use a family setup. We are not sure if you are born, especially firstborns like me, we are not sure if where we, we were told is home is actually our home. We are not sure. And things do happen in hospitals and you find that someone was maybe switched at birth they were given to the wrong family we see these things in movies and and they happen in real life and you find that you've raised a kid that is not actually yours and someone else is also raising your kid somewhere but since the perception came in and you are told this is your baby even if you get other kids you will tend to see these kids looking alike perception now before you do anything before you engage yourself in anything look around how do people perceive whatever you are sharing or whatever you are doing that perception will lead you to decide if you should continue pursuing what you are pursuing or you should switch or switch something up and get the best out of it now i'm not an expert uh what do you call it uh, someone who is going to give you expert advice but you see having been on this earth for more than 30 years 30 something years i've seen things and i've experienced things and sometimes i've gotten um, advantage over others just because of how i'm perceived in some areas for example uh, i go to, with this kind of uh, i'm so blessed to have a body that looks like a workout or i have money or lots of money so when i just dress up a little bit and go to offices looking for something i don't know how it happens but i find to like people just give me whatever I, information i'm seeking or i'm looking for if I, I go to maybe a police station and I ask for something. I'm always directed. Ah, and I easy, and I easy. Go this way, go this way, and whatever. And I find help. Now I don't know why, or do they perceive me to be one of them because of maybe the masculine body, the muscular body? I don't know. But maybe that perception really helps. So, in whatever you do, just know that perception is everything that you need to work on. How how people receive you because of how you're going to market yourself out there now it comes to social media platforms we don't know each other uh, you don't know me i don't know you you don't know the next person that is on your wall and you're connected how you're going to make a business like a sort of connection is how you're going to present yourself if you're going to give them a a persona because what we work with on social media platforms is a, a persona because we don't know you or neither do, do you know those people you want to buy from or sell to in person so what they've presented as their profiles is what leads you to believe or to know what to do with them or what not to do because for example i'll use this uh, online uh, shopping uh, platforms like jumia and kilimo we we have no problem paying money to those applications and they deliver because of how they've sold themselves to the public they've been genuine they deliver uh, they can they they do after sell uh, services in case you have an issue they always like guide you go to this place for servicing or we are going to do this or take this item to this place or we are do going to do something but now for example if today i started same app and i expected you to pay my friend you are going to tell me to deliver first before you can make a payment or you ask if i have a an office or a location you can come pick the item from because you don't know me and you've never done any business uh, uh, the perception in the public eye is that this person may or may not be genuine so sell yourself out there 
because now social media this is an era of social media there is a time we had social uh, we didn't have these platforms around and people used to hustle a lot before you get a connection to someone uh, you are in the f- same field with or you'd love to connect with it used to be a very hard issue it, you could only connect with people in the same field if either you are colleagues in a job somewhere you are in a job setup where you're working and uh, you connect with those people in the same industry but today you can search for people in business or financing or people who are involved in real estate people who are involved in um, automotive or the motor vehicle industry online and you can connect with them if that's the area you're interested in so if you really want to connect with people in the same niche what you do is create a profile that really sells you out there gives people an understanding of who you are um that's someone that people can trust and they're going to do business with you so for example myself i've been in the online businesses from 2015 i started with the network marketing i went to blockchain technology i went to forex trading or binary trading right now i'm in something else which is real estate now for you to buy from me you'll have to assume i live in a very nice home have to now how do i make you believe that i live in a nice home without showing you my home i'll definitely have to share a nice homes that are occupied by other people because i love i love nice stuff then you'll come and believe that oh this guy has a taste a nice taste now first you have to put it in the mind put in the work then whatever you aspire to get will come it's it's never the, 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 we, we were told the, i remember when i was in network marketing there's someone who said be do have if you want to be a millionaire be that millionaire in the mind then secondly do what millionaires do what connections working hard um compounding on your on your money's investments on all those things then you will have what millionaires have so it's b have uh, sorry b do have or become b mindset do the work have what those people have or become it can be or become wh- whichever way you want to put it be or become do what those people did to be where they are then have what they have to now make you a millionaire in real life or um, successful financially or um, be wealthy in whatever area you've chosen so this video is very long and i'm going to have sections and as from today every day i'll be having a segment of things i feel i've been thinking of for a very long time or i've realized in in my way in my line of work but never shared them with anyone because now it's it's also not easy uh, to be in front of a camera every day every now and then and expect to have something in your pocket unless you're earning from that platform you know uh, you sitting or uh, me sitting and waiting to earn from social media platforms is not for everyone because i won't sit here and tell you tap tap or send me a gift or no my essence of being on social media platform is one to connect with possible clients people who are looking for what i'm selling and what am i selling I'm selling information. What kind of information? I'm selling information that will either lead you to become a trader because that's something I've done and I still do. Our experience in cryptocurrency. If you want to own a home, today if you told me you want a car, I, I'm not in in motor vehicle uh, sales. But if anyone uh, but previously I've, I've purchased like five cars for 
people I know, two for an uncle and three for other people. These are people who first trust me because of how they perceive, remember the word perceive, how they perceive me as being trustworthy. Someone whom you can give money and they're going to deliver whatever you've asked them to do. Now, I would not have done all this for five people and one one person twice if in the first instance I had failed them. They sent me the 800,000 and I did other things with the money and they never got what they, they really wanted. I delivered. The second time I delivered. And once I deliver, of course, there's that small talk and someone tells you, uh, for the good work, have this 20k. And that was an uncle. The, the first time he gave me around 15, the second time he gave me 20 to 25,000. So you see, yes, 25,000 is not a lot of money, but this is some work I did for like two days. For two days, you would get a token of 25,000 with other goodies on top. So I felt good. And it's always good to be honest with your people. If whatever they, the money they've given you is not enough, just tell them this budget is way below what you really want. So we, we choose. Do we go for the cheap item that is going to give you problem? Or do you go higher in your budget, at least add some amount, and get the nice item that you really want? So always choose now. I, I, I would love to end this video, but I have a lot of things that I would really want to share. So I'll be doing a video every day. And um, that's it. That's it for now. So peace out. I hear people say peace out. I don't know what it means, but I will say it anyway. Peace out. So I'm peacing and outing. So guys, stay safe and uh, follow. Follow, like, comment share ask and that's it for today enjoy your monday uh, i believe this is the last monday of march so enjoy your last monday of march and may you be successful in whatever area you want to be perceived to be successful that yes we're here by